Hi everybody, we're back with learning new English words and of course, as always, learning new English words is sponsored by Dictionary. Dictionary is the world's premier online dictionary. Let's get to the words. Let's look at our first word, scritchalp. Now scritchalp is when you take anything pointy like a pen with a cover on it and scratching your itchy scalp. There's another strategy uh, to overcome the itch and itch, which is to wash your hair, you dirty bird. Our next word today is pigency. A pigency is an emergency when you are still six blocks from home, but you really, really, really have to go to the bathroom. You, my friends, have a pigency. Our next word is hungerang. Hungerang is when you are hungover and you start to feel better, but the hangover boomerangs back and all of a sudden you feel sick again, perhaps in the late afternoon. Our next word is alternashorn. This is when you can't find your shoehorn that your grandfather gave you on his deathbed. So instead you use a ruler, a stick, or any random piece of wood, anything that can be a temporary alternative shoehorn or an alternashorn. Our next word is fexpert, spelled P-H-E-X-P-E-R-T. A fexpert is a phony expert. These are people that read a few books on a topic and set themselves up as experts and then proceed to fleece newbies trying to learn that topic. Our next word is pharma dust. Pharma dust is the dust at the bottom of a pill bottle from the pills banging around in there. Our next word today is forum grifter. Forum grifters tool around to different online forums, getting as much free advice as they can from professional members. The day a forum grifter actually pays a pro a proper fee for help is the day pigs fly over London. Our next word is free busser. A free busser jumps on the bus without paying. They sneak through that back door of those super long buses with the accordion style baffle in the middle. You've seen these guys jump on. Now, either the bus driver is too busy with people in the front, or he just doesn't care because why would you? Our next word is rate aside. Rate aside is when you hold a steady stream of spray insecticide like raid on an escaping cockroach until they stop moving and die. Our next word today is knuckleassage. Knuckleassage was when you use your knuckles for massaging your temples like this. Knuckleassage is often used after losing a big poker hand or spending the whole day at Disneyland with your kids.